Yes, guys, you know what time it is. It's your boy, David, at the Irish Hotspur, Ireland's number one Spurs fan. And today, I bring you good news as Ollie Skip has signed a new five-year contract at Tottenham Hotspur. And the club did announce that today with the official club statement saying, we are delighted to announce that Oliver Skip has signed a new contract with the club that will run until 2027. The 21-year-old midfielder is currently recovering from an injury, has made 28 appearances for us across all competitions so far this season. Making his competitive first-team debut in a Carabao Cup win over West Ham in October 2018, the academy graduate has gone on to make 52 appearances for us while enjoying a successful loan spell at Norwich City last season, where he featured in 45 of their 46 league games and was named in the PFA Championship team of the season. And Ollie Skip's words upon signing new, that, that new contract, he said, you can never have thought that young boy walking through at six or seven and signing at under nines would get to this stage. So I'm delighted to sign this new deal. It's something that I'm grateful for. I think it means a lot when you've grown up at this club. My whole family support the club. It means a lot when you step out in front of the crowd. Absolutely brilliant words there from Ali Skip. His whole family supporting the club. And I mean, you just see from the words there how much this guy loves the club. And you can see that in reflection on his performances over the course of this season when he's come in. He struck up a very good partnership with Hoiberg. Um, it was a midfield that no one really wanted to enter because Skip and Hoiberg would be on them. Uh, and I'm absolutely buzzing that Skip has signed a new deal. Now, this deal um, is until 2027. But interestingly enough, his last he, he, his contr old contract was until 2024 anyway. So the club didn't necessarily have to give him a new contract at this stage. Um, but he has almost doubled his wages. So if you're Skip, I mean, why would you not sign it, to be honest with you? Now, let's talk a bit about um, Ollie Skip's time at the championship in Norwich. At, at Norwich. Um, now, look, like, like they said, he played 45 out of 46 games. He was in the PFA championship team of the season. But this guy went to Norwich in the championship. But just, like we've seen players that have gone out on loan before, like Troy Parrott to Millwall and stuff like that. It hasn't necessarily worked out for them in the championship. But this guy went in there, slotted in there straight away. And he was one of their best players that season. I remember after every every Spurs game, Spurs fans were going to the, the Twitter on, on, on Norwich's Twitter and voting for him to be man of the match. So he probably won most of them as well, to be honest with you. But, like, you know, he, he was influential in them getting promoted last season. Um, and interestingly enough, I think I think it was the Athletic that said that may, at the time, Jose Mourinho didn't really want him to go. He wanted him to stay around and hang around for just in case we got injuries. But Oli Skip actually pushed for that move and wanted that move to go out and develop himself. And it, us Spurs fans, we were also calling for this guy to come back in that January if there was a recall option on, on, on the loan deal. Because we were crying out for someone else to come in and help us in them positions. But look, on his return to Spurs, um, under Nuno, he made, he started eight out of the ten Premier League games under him before Nuno eventually got the sack in that October. But when Conte came in, he also um, really liked Skip. And he started him out as um, six out of his first ten league games. Now, since, um, since I think it was January 23rd against Chelsea, Skip has been out injured. He's been on the sidelines with a groin and a pelvic injury. And rumour has it that he probably will be out now until the end of the season. Um, but look, this is a guy that three, three world-class managers have all had nice things to say about them. And I'll read them out to you now. The first one starting with Pochettino. Another Pochettino. Pochettino used to bring him on at the end of games just to get him on the pitch, getting some Premier League, League experience. And Pochettino said about Oliver Skip, with Oliver, it's only um, about time. If he is capable of working how he's working and doing in the future, the energy he's, he, that he's behaving with now, I think his future will be bright. Now, they are big words from Pochettino. He's seen a bright future in this guy, and that's why he brought him into the team and was given him minutes. Jose then said, he's one of these players by human quality, by personality. He's one of these kids that I have no doubt he would be an important player for Tottenham. I see this kid being a future captain of Tottenham Hotspur. Now, that is absolutely insane quotes from a manager, one of the greatest managers in world football, who has won nearly, uh, who has won something in every country he's been in. You know, that is absolutely huge words for him to say about such a young guy. And he wasn't even in the team at this stage. 
But then Conte has come in, and we all know how good Conte is as a manager. He says he could become a top midfielder. He has the, has the desire to become an important player for Tottenham Hotspur. Pochettino has since left Tottenham, gone on to manage PSG. Jose Mourinho has won nearly every trophy he's entered. Conte is an absolute serial winner. And for all three of these managers to say stuff about him, it just goes to show what they really see in this guy. And I think it was Ali Gold um, said about, I think it was Ali Gold. I could be wrong. Sorry if I am. But he was reporting that even though Ali Skip is out injured, he's still sitting in on the tactical meetings just to gain further knowledge, just to get more grasp of tactics and what Conte does want from him so that when he does return from injury, he's ready to go and hit the ground running. And that's absolutely brilliant from a young lad. You know, most times when players are out injured, they kind of come in, do the rehab and they go home. But this guy is staying around. He's sitting in all the tactical meetings because he wants to improve. And that's what we want to see from players at Tottenham Hotspur. I hate to put uh, to do this, but someone like Harry Winks, you know, he trains, he, he keeps saying, oh, I need to run games for managers to see the best of me. And he just isn't cut out. He's waiting for like managers to tell him what to do. Whereas Ollie Skip doesn't need to do that. Anyone that wants to make it big in the game, a manager is not, when he has a full squad of 24, 25 men, he can't dedicate every single minute to you and tell you what you need to be doing. Sometimes you have to grasp and get these things on your own. And Ollie Skip has certainly done that. I have no doubt he'll come back and he'll slot straight into a Conte team um, um, just like he wasn't missing whatsoever. Now, my thoughts on, on Ollie Skip signing the new contract. I mean, his low move was a, a success to Norwich. Three world-class managers have given him the seal of approval, and all three cannot be wrong, guys. Um, he has a great mentality as well, um, to be honest with you. He absolutely does. Um, yeah, I think it was, again, the athletic. He was saying that if Harry Kane and Harry Winks can make it into the first team, so can I. And I believe he said that back in 2019. It was reported in the athletic today. So that word showed that he already had that mentality. He already seen that. He already has that vision. He has that thirst. Uh, to be able to get into the first team. Or it, we could just take it that he's seen Harry Winks and he's kind of like, well, look, you know, I can definitely get in there and do more than him. But he also he, he also replaces Harry Winks as a homegrown sort of player that Harry Winks has been providing us over the last couple of years in terms of squad registration for Europe and for the Premier League. So, I mean, it does put Harry Winks' position under threat. And what does that mean for Harry Winks? We'll wait and see. But he has been brilliant uh, since he's come in this season. He's struck up a partnership with Heiberg. At times, he's been in there beside Winks, and his performances have not changed whatsoever. He's an all-action, energetic midfielder, and he loves getting stuck in. And you can see that on, uh, on the pitch, to be honest with you. And I actually think he deserves the new contract. I mean, look, I've done stuff before where I've talked about Winks and Deli Ali getting new contracts every season or every two seasons, whether they were deserved or not. But this guy actually deserves it. And for me, look, I actually thought he would have been in the England team this season, but obviously injury has stopped that. But if he can get in the Tottenham team next season and he gets a good run of games, I guarantee you he will be in the England team. This guy is a future England international. I am absolutely delighted of, uh, that Tottenham have signed this guy down to a new contract. He epitomises everything we want. And he also should be what people in the club should be looking up to. After Harry Kane, the next homegrown player they should be looking up to now is Oli Skip. The way he's come in, you know, and dislodged members of this team that have been here for six, seven, eight years. Um, he's gone out on loan. He pushed for that loan to develop his game. He knew he needed to improve and then comes back and hits the ground running, given the chance. And that's what everyone needs to do at Tottenham Hotspur. So his, his new contract is fully deserved. And congratulations, Ollie Skip. Guys, um, let me know what your thoughts is on, on Ollie Skip's new contract down below. Um, get your comments in. Let us know all your thoughts. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you are new. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at half nine for Kanicki Answer Me. As always, come on, you Spurs. In Conte, we trust. And congratulations, Ollie Skip. Yeah, you